All right, match four. Hey, you know, got a pretty decently, pretty decently, uh, decent hand, if I do say so myself. A pretty decent, decently decent hand. And we'll keep and see where we go from here. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, if I do play the temples, I mean, this would be more for a companionless version, but if I played the temples, actually, like, if I, I could, for example, play a 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two, two split, and then Engineered Explosives could be an option instead of Ratchet Bomb. I have like Ratchet Bomb, but, like, Engineered Explosives might just be objectively better, and anyway, I don't, I'm not quite, I'm not quite, uh, I don't quite want to go companionless again yet, but, but it is... It is something uh, worth considering, having access to like colors that you only need for for engineer explosives. The problem is, is it's kind of dissynergistic with Blood Moon again. Um, I mean, sort of. You can still deal with one drops and tokens and stuff. Um, see, like right here, the scry would have been nice. I don't know if this is a. Yeah, you know, I, I, just in case this is a. Uh, a shadow deck. I don't want to help them reduce their life total. I might give. I might give uh, trying trying uh, temples a try though. The thing is, is um, I could play like a one 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 split of like each different one. There's kind of a certain elegance to that because then that kind of you know, I don't know, it's kind of like a logical sort of thing in a, of sorts, but at the same time, at the same time, though, I don't really see how you get, how I get punished, how I would get punished if I played the temples by, by, um, you know, by having, like, all of one type. I mean, I guess, I guess, um, surgical extraction, but I don't know why they'd be surgically extracting my temples anyway. So I might just play the blue one just to psych them out with counter spells. I mean, sure, like, white could psych them out into thinking that, like, I'm um, red-white land destruction, if they're familiar with that deck, because <laughs> nothing signifies red-white land destruction, like, possibly. I mean, I don't see them play it that much, but they, they probably do. I think they do play it. Then, like, uh, the red-white temple, <laughs> that kind of, like, telegraphs red-white land destruction enormously. That being said, I, I don't know that that would necessarily change their play all that much, whereas the blue-red uh, fetch land, I mean, the blue-red uh, temple might, um, definitely could um, make them play around counter magic. You just you just never know. I mean, psychologically, an untapped blue mana is just uh, very scary in a way that an untapped white mana usually isn't, although it could signify mana tithe. So there is that, actually. So the red-white one could signify mana tithe, so they could play around a card I don't have. If red-white land destruction was a, was a way more common deck, then definitely I think white would be the way to go, because there'd be a lot of power to them playing around a mana tithe we don't have. I just don't know if that's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised I didn't take the uh, Bone Crusher. It looks like they're going to play a Shadow. So I got a feeling. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I think let's uh, let's try to um, let's try to deal with these, shall we? And we definitely want to block. We definitely want to block so that uh so that they can't play scored um they can't play uh scourge of the skyclaves yeah scourge of the skyclaves as opposed to uh skyclave apparition different skyclaves man. Well, this is going to be rough, but we got the familiar, we got the, uh, we got a decent sideboard plan, at least. Um. Well, let's, uh, we could, at least we're threatening to block the Goyf and, um, and trade with the, uh, Death Shadow, although, see, the Shadow might, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, so the shadow might grow, of course. 
I might just take um, and maybe try to try to win unless they yeah okay so if they attack with both I'm going to uh, I think the only way I win at this point is cheesing is uh, cheesing them which we could which are like firebolt lightning bolt next turn yep no point whatsoever I think to taking because we are not winning this late game ooh that's uh, that's unfortunate um see we could bring out a three and then they're dead to lightning bolt yeah Let's see though, is this, that's 11 damage, so, yeah, that's not going to cut it. They got to know we got Blood Moon. There could have been some advantage to holding this back, but at least they, at least this turns them off from able to play Lurus. Um, I doubt that this brings us back in the game, but, you know, a Season Pyromancer maybe. Season Pyromancer into another Season Pyromancer. I don't know. All right, two more Battle Rage. You know, I think that might be good. I think that might be good for them. I'm joking, of course. Of course, it's good for them. All right. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, some people might just say like, yeah, that's why you should just give up. But like, no, actually, we still have a chance. It's just because you don't come back every single time. You never give up, never surrender. I mean, hey, England didn't give up in World War II, you know, for what it's worth. I know that's uh, maybe maybe not the best uh, comparison, but hey, you know, sometimes sometimes you know you, you don't know, and you, you can't you can't give up. You don't you don't know how the how it's going to play out in the end. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think these one drops really. Are good. Um, I definitely want pillage. I think I want oblivion stone. Um, I don't think I need the flame slashes. Um, I do definitely want the blood moons. I definitely do want the pillages. I like the familiars. I definitely need the relics for the uh, for the um, goifs. Yeah, I like. I do. I do like this. Definitely something to like. Mm. Another thing, the white, the temple, the white temple might signify if we decide to play that is, uh, is it might signify core firewalker out of the sideboard, so they might bring in pro red hate that they wouldn't otherwise. So I might play that because it could, it could signify, it could signify mana tithe, and it could signify um, pro red creatures. I don't think the uh, the green the green red or the black red uh, temples really change the way people play much. People might empty their hand against the black one, signifying discards, but I don't exactly know if that would really change. All that much in the grand scheme of things, I don't know. And see, this is actually one consideration of the temples, is like here, if they discard the Valakut, we're in deep trouble, but I don't think I can... Oh, yeah, actually, I guess I can play this on my turn. But see, if we were on the draw, then we could be in big trouble if they discard this. So, I mean, it's nice to, like, get the Pyromancer tokens with this thing, but I'm, I think I'm seriously... <clears throat> I'm seriously going to consider replacing a Valakut... Uh, Awakening with um with a temple. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Um, I might as well firebolt that, right? I mean, why not? What's the uh, what's the harm? I don't want to. I don't want to take two. I might even try, I mean, start off by experimenting replacing Forgotten Cave with a temple, because, like, we could hit our land drops much, much easier. I mean, it would suck to, like, get mana flooded later in the game, but... But, I mean, like, yeah, it's actually... It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Alright, bye-bye, see you as a Pyre Master, so it goes. So it goes.
Oblivion Stone is nice too, but we're a ways away from that. It's just really nice the way the scry lands, they both give you like a filtering ability and they give you a land. Like you don't have to like choose either or like cycle Forgotten Cave or play it. Well, I'm definitely playing the Season Pyromancer if I draw. I did not. See, um, if we would have if we would have seen Firebolt on top, we would have scryed it away. I'm gonna try at least Valakut Stoneforge. I think is a uh, um, at least worth uh, experimenting playing a Temple instead. At least, you know. I don't I don't know if I want to go all in and do Forgotten Cave too, but okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Man. This is kind of brutal. Like, maybe maybe both of these would have been good. Because, see, if these were both um, temples, then uh, then maybe next turn, I guess we still get to see. Moment of Truth is next turn, there's still not a land, then I guess it wouldn't have made a difference, maybe. Kind of brutal. We do have 24 lands, but, like, sometimes 24 lands is just still not enough. But the Scry Lounge can just be so nice to, like, hit the, uh... Okay, we, we need to get Season Pyromancer online. There's just no two ways about it. Yeah, Moment of Truth. I guess the Scry Lands wouldn't have, uh... Wouldn't have uh, made a difference. Um, because we would have scryed away the Firebolt or, or the O-Stone or something with the, um... With the cave, and then we would have scryed away this. Man, is it just me or is this kind of brutal? I don't know. I don't, it's not like, it's not, it doesn't feel productive to just write off a game that's like, well, there's, you know, to quote a certain famous YouTuber, nothing we could have done. <laughs> but like, but at the same time, this might be a game where, I don't know, uh, I guess we could have mulliganed, but we did have two lands and a season Pyromancer, so we had like, we had a plan. All right, well, plan here is we died to Timor Battle Rage, that's the plan here. All right, well. Hey, at least commenting. Oh, and they're like, I got so unlucky. I'm going to draw three cards because I got so unlucky. I'm like, oh, oh okay, just calm down, calm down. That's what I was kidding. Oh, all right, man. Um, okay, 